Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tim Master 8. Today I'm going to be reviewing Birdhouse for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, I'm, I've never done this before, but I'm going to read you the description. Birdhouse is a notepad for Twitter. It's a simple, well-designed app for capturing your ideas, saving them for later, and publishing when ready. Birdhouse won't replace your favorite Twitter client. It'll add to it. Continue using your favorite Twitter client for keeping up with your friends. When you think of something to write that you don't want to post right away, Birdhouse is the perfect place to put it. Now, the developers are creative, mother-loving people. I mean, who would have thought of this? It's simple, but yet it's something that people won't usually think of. Okay, so let me just show you, show you my Birdhouse. So, this is my iPhone. And this is what you'll see when you open up Birdhouse. Now, let's say I'm taking a show in the park and I think of something for Twitter. All I do is I click on the top right to compose or uh, what it, a new message or whatever to a Twitter, a tweet. Uh, what do I write? Let's say I'm going to write fell or actually saw a Dude, talking to birds at the park. Okay, so let's say that's your little. But that's what popped into your head at that moment and you don't want to post it now you want to post it later because let's say you already posted like 20 tweets in the past half an hour in the past 10 minutes actually so you know you just click on done whoops I misspelled talking let me just edit that There we go. Now click on done. So you can also edit your little idea. Done. Okay, so let's say it's been about an hour later. You're home. Well, actually, you're on your way home. You say, hmm, my followers must be waiting for me to Twitter something. So then, okay, all you do is go down to the bottom where it says publish. And you publish. Click on publish. 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 Publishing and voila, that is an official tweet. Now, right here, you have your history. Hang on, uh, here we go. History, and you can say this is your birdhouse or whatever. No, actually, you have I have no draft in my birdhouse. History, and as you can see, these are all my previous messages that came from birdhouse, my previous tweets. Now this app costs three ninety nine dollars, three point ninety nine, three dollars ninety nine cents, four bucks. Um, what's my opinion? What do I say about this? It's an amazing app. It's very creative. But, 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 hmm, four bucks. I'd say they should lower the price simply because. The app is simple, it does one thing and one thing only. Even though that one thing is awesome, it's not worth four bucks. I mean, you have a mind for that. But otherwise, I love the idea, and I'll give it a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, whatever. It's it's the perfect application for Twitterers. But the only downfall of it is, is the price. But, you know, if you want a, a cool, creative app for Twitterers, for Twitter, Go ahead, Birdhouse is a perfect app, but, you know, I think it should cost about 2 bucks or maybe 99 cents, and, yeah, simply because it's simple, but that's also the, the good thing about it, it's so simple, so there you go, YouTube, this was Birdhouse, it's three ninety nine in the app stores, in the app store, um, if you Twitter, Twitter me at twitter.com slash techmaster8, techmaster8, same thing, follow me, you know, have crazy ideas or whatever so I do talking to birds at the park okay well that's not very cool 
but you know I usually post stuff about the iPhone and whatnot. So there you go, YouTube. Birdhouse for the iPhone iPod Touch. Take Master Eight out.